welcome back to my channel so today i have a new topic on bio render so this is a very good tool which can be used for creating quality images so this will be very good for uh, general publications so now everyone is interested in publishing scopus journals uh, maybe q1 q2 very good impact factor journal so when you are trying to publish your work they think uh, the most important thing here is having quality images so having good quality images will be very difficult with normal excel or a normal powerpoint that you are trying to use for some applications but this uh, bio render tool will uh, help you in creating good quality images with more than 600 dpi also can be created so basically this icon will be provided by this particular tool and that icons will be helping you in creating quality images which can be used for journal publication so let me give you some examples of uh, or the images that i have created using bio render so this is one of the image that i created using bio render which i used for one of my review article so this review article was on microplastic occurrence and its detection and uh, uh, various other applications there where i tried to uh, uh, see how uh, microbial uh, gut microbiota can be used for degrading plastics so microplastics so this is just uh, an image which was created by biorender so that i can understand or we can understand how the occurrence of microplastics is seen so basically from the land from the ocean from the household so from where all these uh, places micro uh, plastics can be generated and how it contaminates the environment so to show the occurrence i created this uh, image using biorender so you can see these icons which i have used so these icons can be uh, Uh, got from this particular tool what i'm talking and even the text can be created but basically the idea should be yours like the novelty or the uniqueness how to create that creativity so all that depends on you but basically you need to uh, play around with the icons and see how you can create good quality images similarly this is one more image what i created so you can see here in this particular diagram we have shown the microplastics uh, degradation by uh, beetle larvae so insects worms so those can be used and inside i've just shown so this is just to magnify what's happening inside within this organisms uh, larvae they can be gut microbiota which is involved in the degradation of plastic and once microplastics are there you can just check even the composition of it like using uh, lcms analysis you can do the compositional analysis so surface morphology you can use stem so in this way you can create very good quality images which can be used for general publication so you can see the cracks which are there on the surface of the microplastics which confirms the degradation can be even shown so in this way you can play around with the icons and see how you can create quality images so this is one more uh, thing what i created there so just to show you some examples how you can try to explore to create good quality images so this is one more which i created so in this way you can create a lot of images so basically your creativity how you can use the icons so that definitely matters so this is how you can create very good quality images using the tool bio render so the most important take away here is very good quality images can be created as i told you even 600 dpi images so this will be very useful for high impact factor journals so now everybody is interested in research and everybody wants to publish in q1 journals so good quality journals so when you are trying to publish in these journals they expect good quality work as well as good quality images so this can be one useful tool for you so please explore this and please learn more on this so as i told you for graphical abstract so every most of the journals will have the graphical abstract which tells the pitch, uh, pictorial representation which gives you an entire gist of what is the paper all about so that for creating uh, all those graphical abstracts also you can use this particular tool so basically you have to use your creativity and see how you can try to use the icons for creating good quality images so i think uh, uh, i need to show you how to create this so let me show you the actually the process of how to create images so basically you can type uh, bio render in google and you will get this particular uh, page okay so i have a account already so i put my email id and put my password and i log in so once i log in you can see i can see my page here okay so i have created some images priorly so all that images can be seen
okay so before that i want to tell you something about the pricing so this tool is not free it is a subscription so you can uh, subscribe for this so there are different pricings you can see here there is one free uh, pricing that is basically uh, you need not pay anything this is just for educational purpose but if you create any images from this you do not have the right to publish in any journal so this is one thing that i want to make you very clear if you are trying to use the free version you can just use it for exploring to create good quality images maybe for uh, your uh, uh, reports or something within the college premises where you are not publishing anything on the online domain then that is fine but if you are trying to publish in some journals then you are supposed to take the individual or single user subscription so which is 35 dollars per month okay and if lab if you want to take it like they have the provision for five members also and that will cost 99 dollars per month so uh, if you are applying for some funding you can think of uh, taking this as one of the tool for your uh, uh, funding opportunity so that it will be useful to create good quality images for the publications so in this way a uh, different uh, subscription modes are available and certain times they even give you uh, discounts so if you are lucky enough you might get some discounts which can help you in further reducing the cost so you can pay it monthly or you can pay it yearly so they have different modes and finally you can get your uh, subscription model whichever you are planning so now i just want to show you how to create images here so here create new and illustration so i can create my own illustration so simply just to show you how to play around with this uh, bio render i'm just showing you this particular page so once this page gets loaded my page is ready now i can decide what i want so just let me show you some cell types so whatever you want see epithelial cells if you want epithelial cells you get some epithelial cells okay so whichever cell type you want you can just drag and drop okay it is just drag and drop options very simple but creativity is all yours how you use it okay so i'll just dra drop some icons just for your understanding so there are a lot of icons available related to biology okay so if you want some muscular system you have it okay i'm just putting some icons i'm not creating any graphical abstract now i'm just showing you so that you understand what are the different icons available okay so chemistry related also you have so maybe you want something related to biochemistry you have it so you can see there right so if you want adp you want atp so whatever you want just drag and drop okay and if you want to alter the canvas size okay i want only so much okay i want don't want that free space i want to cut it off even that is possible so i can crop it to how much ever i want right so i can crop it and i can apply once i press apply that page will be cut into that piece and now i can put even colors so inside this canva if i want some gray color i can put if i want red color i can put whichever color i want also i can select okay and then if i want some text i can type the text okay so cell okay a small letter so some cell i can make it bold i can make it center i can color change the color of it right i can increase or decrease the size right i can change the font size style so whichever font style i want i can make it i can make it slightly transparent so in this way a lot of things can be explored so here you can see the arrows whatever style of arrows you want so if i want this style of arrow i can put it i can click on it i can increase the width however i want right i can make it transparent i can change the color of it so you can see it's just about exploring here so basically whichever icons you want you should see that you might get it or not certain times those icons will not be available then you may have to use the shapes yourself and try to create some icons so in this way whichever icons are available here you can try to explore it if it is not available then you have to create your own icons so in this way you can try to create good quality images okay and finally once your image is ready you can export it so this is the button that you need to uh, press export and once you export it they ask you png is recommended so always keep png it's recommended so here you can see resolution so in case you are having the subscription 
you will get this options otherwise you will not get this option so 300 600 dpi will not be available for that free version only for a paid version you have this 300 and 600 dpi so i want 600 dpi images because it is more clearer and i export it so once i export it my image is there i just open it So you can see your image is there, right? So you can copy it and paste it to your document wherever you have your manuscript and just submit it to the respective journal. So in this way, you can try to create quality images. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me till date. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please like my videos. Please share this video with the research fraternity so that whoever is trying to uh, do some research work publish some papers i think this tool will be of definitely some help to them so please support me and please share my videos thank you so much